Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Capricorns for the week starting May 16, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribed already. Thank you for those who have just joined me in my channel, welcome. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now for you, my Capricorns, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the seven of rods. So you're still, um, you know, you're still keeping your position, okay, and you're, you're a little bit above other people, okay, we could see looking, other people looking up. Okay, but there's thing the thing about this card is about waiting. There's like this waiting period. We don't know if those other uh, rods wants to cheer him up or or if they are attacking him. In any event, what we know is he's ready to defend himself. So this week you could be putting yourself in that position. Okay, uh, what we know so far is there's a lot of energy in your fifth house, okay, which is the house of Taurus, where the sun is, Mercury is, and I think also Venus is there. Okay, so the fifth house is a great house. It's a house about education, love, romance, passion, speculative business, kids, and things of that nature. But we'll have to see the other cards to see what Spirit is trying to say. For you, my Capricorn. So let's see what we have in a near past position. We have the Queen of Cups. So the lover. Okay. And now the Queen, she's she's the lover. Okay. And she's you could see she's drinking that cup of love. So the Queen of Cups is actually for you, especially because she's looking in the future. She comes in as an ally. Okay. It could be you. Okay. It could it could be you taking the qualities of this energy, which is compassionate. Um, understanding, uh, truthful, is also the Queen of Cups is someone who has a certain amount of success in her own finances or business that she decided to willingly, um, you know, have a different view, which is more related to uh, the human side of, of it all, okay? She's mostly concerned about other people. She's very, you know, giving. But we know that you're stepping up, or you look like you're stepping up ready to fight. We don't know yet, okay? The Queen of Cups could be, like I said, an ally because she's turning her back at this energy. So maybe you're the one who's changing maybe your view or your attitude, or you're just maybe taking a different strategy. Or it could be another woman who's coming in to, I feel, you know, alleviate some type of burden for you. Okay, but let's see what we have in a position of um, the future this week. We have the death card. Interesting. So there's an ending. I should say there will be a transformation coming in in your life. Um, it could be related to different things, to what I mentioned about the fifth house, but it could be about your health too. It could be about your, um, your reputation. It could be about your family your relationship and things of that nature. But also in the astrological belt, the death card represents Scorpio, which also could be the queen of cups, okay? Because Scorpio is a water sign. And I have to be honest, Capricorn and Scorpio make a very good team, especially in terms of business, okay? So there's some type, I feel that you are changing outlook on something, you're changing vision, or maybe someone is making you see things differently, or maybe it could be an event. Maybe that person brought you an event. You know, maybe that the, the person who gave you birth, or maybe that's the mother who helped you give birth, or things of that nature, because there's a lot of things happening in Capricorn life. You know, Saturn in a 12 house is very significant. Even if it's, you know, it's going retrograde, the energy is still there, and Saturn is your ruler. So there's a transformation at play.
my Capricorn. You're changing. You're shedding some skin. Okay. No, we know that soon the sun will go in Gemini. And Gemini is your sixth house. It's this house of work, routine, okay, and other things. So we'll have to see what type of change or transformation you're looking for in your life, my Capricorn. I think the change is really good. It could be like from single to married, from, from you know, from a woman to mother. It could be from, you know... Um, in terms of education, maybe you're going to be licensed. But there's big changes for you, my Capricorn. And let's see what we have in a position of um, the outcome for you this week. Temperance. Interesting. Next to the death card, it seems almost impossible. Because death card is like, it's boom. It comes to you. You can never predict when. It's maybe not when you're ready. Temperance is all about taking your time. Having a, a, a balance, you know, understanding life cycle. You see there's a sun, you see there's water, there's green. There's all this, the element, air, she seems to be flying. So it's all about enjoying things in life. Because sometimes my um, Capricorn are very ambitious, naturally. I mean, if they become mother, they're going to have to become the best mother there is. If they become you know, a, a husband, this guy's going to have to be the best husband there is. I mean, you know, here it could be that, yes, a transformation, you're looking at it. And like I said, transformation, I, I think transformation is really good here. Just because it's next to the queen. And the queen, the uh, queen of cups, like I said, could be a Scorpio. It may, it may not be, it could just be the energy, okay? Uh, but the temperance is here to let you know that there's a way. You're going to have to go about this transformation. And the sun will be moving in this direction. In your sixth house, it will be in Gemini. So you'll learn a routine. You'll learn how to do things. But, you know, slow and steady. Okay? But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Capricorns. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.